okay <coughs> next let's see what is the simple function of multi cylinder spark ignition agent here uh, which is already uh, discussed in the earlier slides so there is a uh, four strokes uh, here it is a suction stroke there is a inlet valve this is the exhaust valve so here we are going to using the spark plug for igniting the air fuel mixture so this is for compression stroke this is for expansion or power stroke and here this is for the exhaust stroke this is a simple working function of multi cylinder spark ignition engine so here it is here engine manifold is there this is the engine manifold right this is the crankcase this is the crankcase this is connecting crank crankshaft this is called what do you call it is the crankshaft this is the oil case in which we have the lubricating oil what do you call it is lubricating oil this is called the flywheel what do you call it is this is the flywheel right next so in Brayton cycles uh, we have a TS diagram and PV diagram for this in which the process 1 to 2 here it is a 1 to 2 uh, isotropic compression for the compressor okay it's a gas cycle okay it is a gas cycle in which 1 to 2 isentropic compression and 2 to 3 here 2 to 3 constant pressure p2 equal to p3 constant pressure heat addition and 3 to 4 uh, isentropic expansion in the turbine here it is uh, compression in uh, compressor here it is expansion in the turbine i mean 3 to 4 right so last one the 4 to 1 here it is a 4 to 1 constant pressure heat is rejected constant pressure heat is rejected Right. Next, let's see the working function of, I mean, uh, diesel power plant. Diesel power plant. This is a schematic lever layout of a uh, diesel power plant. So in which uh, we have the engine, right? The engine components. There is a cylinders one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cylinders are there. This is the air intake system. Here it is a air intake system and the lubricating system here it is a lubricating system this is a generator unit okay which will be coupled in the engine exhaust engine exhaust here it is a power is generated here the power is generated this is the water jackets it is a lubricating system what you call it is here it is a lubricating system there is a lubricating system and uh, there is a air intake system This is the air intake system. Right. Generally, we know very well it is that the fuel will be coming from the, the fuel tank. Right. The fuel will be coming to the fuel tank and it's sent to the day tank. What do you call it is day tank. From that day, from that day tank, it goes to the engine. Okay. It is a goes to the engine. So engine will be working by the four stroke suction compression power exhaust here after expansion the engine output shaft will be coupled with the generator so here the power is generated here it is a power is generator the engine exhaust will be ex escaped from the engine exhaust to the through the silencer okay through the silencer here it is a air intake system air intake system right so here you can see the um, here you can see the uh, water jackets okay from the engine from the engine during working condition the water will be circulated inside the engine through the water jacket isn't it through the water jacket and it will be carrying a heat okay it will be carrying a heat it comes to the heat exchanger it comes to the heat exchanger there is a there is a um, there is a cooling process will be taken. So there is a cooling process will be take place. So after that, water will be reused in the engine. Reused in the engine. There is a uh, pump system. I mean oil pump system will be there. Lubricant now from the lubricant from the lubricant tank. From the lubricant tank, the oil will goes to the engine crankcase. Engine crankcase for lubricating purposes. This is simple concept of 
diesel power plant layout. Right. In diesel engine power plants are mainly installed where the supply of coal and water is not available in sufficient quantity. Okay. Wherein sufficient quantity or where power is to be generated in small quantity or where standby sets are required for continuity of power supply such as uh, mainly in hospitals, telephone exchanges, radio stations and the cinema theaters. So generally these plants will be range of uh, 2 to 50 megawatt capacity okay or used to as a central station it will be used in a central station for supply of authorities okay this is the main thing for diesel power plant this is a subsidy plant plant power plant uh, this is a simple layout in diesel engine the diesel engine is a compression ignition engine a two stroke cycle engine is more fiber here i have shown what we have discussed here i have mentioned here it is a fuel supply systems so the fuel from the storage tank is pumped to the filter into this smaller tank called the data day tank called day tank this tank supplies the daily requirements of a diesel engine the all day tank is a place high so that the fuel flows to the engine under gravity which sufficient pressure air intake system this is one of the main system for diesel power plants the air record for combustion of fuel inside the diesel engine cylinder is drawn through the air okay then through the air filter the purpose of this filter is to remove the dust from the incoming air isn't it okay in diesel power plants we have following our main components means the first one the engine and the system air intake system exhaust system uh, the fuel system cooling system lubricating system and finally the starting of the engine right fuel injection system in which the function of the main function of the fuel injection systems are filter the fuels right filter the fuels meter the correct quantity of fuel injected okay correct um quantity main i mean okay this is one of the main the meter uh, meter the correct quantity of injected fuels right okay. then next the time of the injection process injected time of the injection it is also one of the main thing and regulate the fuel supply and regulate the the fuel supply to the combustion chamber and secure fine automation of fuels okay fine secure fine automation of the fuels finally that distribute the automatic fuel into the combustion chamber yes so in which we have going to using the common rail direct injection system this is one of the main i mean you can shortly called as CRDI common drive direct injection system so in which uh, a single pump uh, supplies the fuel under pressure to the fuel header or common drive it is a common drive and the high pressure in the header forces the fuel to the each of the nozzle located in the top, uh, top of the engine cylinder top of the engine cylinder at the top, proper time the mechanically operated valves allows the fuels to enter the cylinder through nozzle right finally the amount of fuel entered cylinder is regulated by varying the length of the push rod stroke right. here i have shown the the common rail fuel supply system i mean crd engine here it is the common rail okay the common rail is a fuel pump supply i mean supply pump from which the fuel will be supplied to the the header file header tubes okay here okay the correspond at the, the here all the uh, nozzle will have a similar pressure which will be used in the during combustion times here it is a fuel tank from the fuel tank it comes to the filter here it is the dust will be collected and from this uh, it comes to the sub pump from the pump it is supplied to the common drive fuel supply systems so which will be operated by the ecu electronic controlled units which will be controlled by the ecu unit electronic control units in individual pump injection system the schematic views here i have shown an individual pump or pump cylinder connects directly to each fuel nozzle okay fuel nozzle 
here metering and injection timing controlled by individual pump here it is controlled by the individual pumps here the nozzle here the nozzle contains a delivery valve actuated by the fuel pressure actuated by the fuel pressure this is the engine this is the control rack okay it's a pump cam output shaft next let's see the the cooling or and the lubricating system so there are many types of cooling systems are there and lubricant systems uh, thermosiphon cooling system uh, thermostat cooling system splash lubricating systems and finally the bypass type wet sample lubrication systems the main fundamentals of lubrication systems are the basics of your lubricant is to reduce friction and wear between two surfaces moving relative to one another in most cases lubricants also dissipates heat and prevents rust or corrosions right and finally it act as a seal to outside contaminants and precious contaminants away from bearing surface this is the main thing right let's see what is the engine lubrication systems here i have mentioned what you call uh tg it's a temperature cage here it is pg it is a pressure cage there is a cooler storage tank pump filter and the engine this is the main thing the engine from the engine right here it is a storage tank from the storage tank okay it will be comes to the filter with the help of pump okay it will be measured with the help of the pressure cage and after filtering the dust will be removed right okay and with the help of the pump okay here the help of the pump it is circulated inside the cylinder it is circulated inside the cylinder okay here it is a bearing it will be lubricated by the lubricant it will be lubricated by the lubricant and after that again the lubricated dust oil will be comes to the comes to the the cooler with the help of your pump and here it is recirculated into the storage tank this is a simple working function of the engine lubrication system there is some advantages of lubrication systems are the oil inlet pressure to engine is low and the oil output temperature from the engine high oil output temperature from cooler high this is the advantages of the situations this is a uh, simple working function of cooling systems here i have shown this uh, the four cylinders the engine manifold there is a radiator the radiator fan here the crank uh, crank shaft okay should be connected in the uh, connecting rod through the piston right here the radiator cap will be there the main function of this system is to get the engine up to optimum temperature Uh, sorry operating temperature as quickly as possible and maintain it at the temperature okay and controls the heat produced in combustion chamber okay so that the engine parts are not damaged and the oil does not break down this is the main function of the cooling system 